Over 120 years ago, one French composer left a very specific instruction at the top of his short piece of music, which makes the piece last 16 hours. Now, Toussaint's Chamber Lab is getting ready to attempt to play it in its entirety, and here to tell us how you can get involved is creative director Chris Black, along with Billy Peard from the ACLU of Arizona. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for having us. It's great to have you. So let's get to the music piece in just a little bit. I want to talk about first what Chamber Lab is. Uh, Chamber Lab started in 2010, and it's a, it's a concert series where we have composers who aren't from the classical music world at all. We're all in like cumbia bands or mm -hmm. jazz bands or rock bands, but we're writing music for classical players. And then we're putting on these chamber music performances back in the rock clubs, like the Congress and Rialto and that sort of thing. Right, and that's what I love about it too, and we're seeing some pictures of, of some of your past events, is that you're not limited uh, by venue. You guys go all over the place, sort of do a tour of Tucson, if you will. Yes, we, we want to bring the music to where the music lovers sort of hang out every night. And I think that's the modern way to do it. I mean, that's the way of the future for people to get really get into this type of music. And so you're doing this big event called the Vexathon, <laughs> and uh, it's about this music piece called Vexation. So tell us, I said a little bit about it, but tell us more in depth. Well, in 1893, Eric Satie wrote this little piece of music. It's a little over a minute long. So far, so good except that he wrote this note at the top of the page <laughs> suggesting that he thinks it should be played 840 times in a row. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Right, that's what you're going to do. And you say that this, it's, I mean, it's unique in the world of music. I don't think there's been another one like it. I don't think there's any other. I, I haven't heard of any other piece of music where the composer was such a jerk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure musicians think, uh, would think that to make them play it that many times. So how does the event work? Because you can have a musician of any talent level, really, join you and, and they can be sponsored? Absolutely. This is open to all musicians. I have music for, I think, every possible instrument up on the website and they can sign up to play it and it works a little bit like a charity walkathon but instead of miles or whatever it's music so they can have sponsors friends family local businesses pledge x amount per however many times they manage to get through the piece and all the money raised goes straight to the ACLU of Arizona. The ACLU and Billy that's where you come in tell us a little bit about the ACLU and how it benefits people. Well the ACLU is a national organization uh, founded in 1919 the Arizona chapter of the ACLU was, has been around since 1959. Uh, today we have roughly 21,000 members statewide throughout Arizona, 7,000 of them here, right here in southern Arizona. And we bring lawsuits, we do non-legal adv advocacy around civil liberties, civil rights, um, anti-discrimination issues, LGBT issues, a range of issues generally falling under the umbrella of uh, government abuses mm -hmm. or civil rights issues. Right, right. It's, uh, you know, as futuristic and advanced as Chamber Lab would be. You know, you guys are really on the forefront uh, of all these things. And why did you choose the ACLU specifically? Uh, they work like crazy all the time uh, for liberty. For mm -hmm. Anyone who likes the Constitution at all for any reason mm -hmm. should like the ACLU. Uh, they're constantly, one thing that they're doing right now, a lot of people in Tucson might remember how crazy it was to vote last time. Mm -hmm. People couldn't get their registration changed, they couldn't get their party changed, they couldn't vote in the primaries they wanted to. There were long lines everywhere. Lo and behold, right now the ACLU of Arizona is taking steps on that issue and many others. It's impossible to keep up with. So right. I love supporting them in that. Right. It's a progressive organization. And what will these funds do specifically for the ACLU? Well, they'll allow us to continue and, and ramp up and expand our work. Uh, just one example, I'm the one and only staff attorney here in southern Arizona with the ACLU, so mm -hmm. uh, with luck we'll be able to raise some more money to help support our southern Arizona operations, maybe in the future expand to a second or third staff member here so we can continue uh, expanding our work for those in southern Arizona. We all know that Arizona statewide issues and statewide organizations tend to be Phoenix-centric, so yeah. hopefully we can help uh, root more of our work here in, in this region. Right, it's good to bring it back to the old Pueblo. So Chris, in the you know, last few seconds we have left, uh, if people want to get involved, whether they want to observe and watch or, or, or you know, play with you guys, what would you tell them? I would say sign up at vexathon.com, V-E-X-A-T-H-O-N.com. You can sign up as a performer, you can sign up as a, as a sponsor, you can sign up as a volunteer. 
we'd love to have you. The more the merrier. Well, it's a huge undertaking. I know you guys will accomplish it, and it goes to a really, obviously, great cause with the ACLU. So I want to thank both of you for this partnership and also for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thank of you. Course, our pleasure. Now, Chamber Lab presents a 16-hour marathon musical performance to benefit the ACLU of Arizona that's taking place on December 2nd at both Hotel Congress and Maynard's Market and Kitchen at the times listed there on your screen. To learn more, please visit Vexathon.com.